In this video, we're going to be talking about ways you can balance motherhood and ministry. So stick around. Hey y'all, thanks for joining me here on the Life Before Eternity channel. My name is Titania Page, and today I'm joined by my lovely friend Christina Patterson on her channel, Beloved Women for the Christian Woman. She has hundreds, you guys, of devotionals, so if you're into that and you want more of that kind of content, please go ahead and check her out. All right, Christina, will you take it away with your insights on how to balance mom, motherhood, and ministry? Well, first of all, Tatiana, I just want to say thank you for allowing me to come on your channel and have this chat with you. I love chatting with moms because I feel like, you know, sometimes we can get so caught up in just the everyday just work of motherhood that we can kind of forget the um, uh the importance of the work that we actually do before we, you know, went live, we were talking about how like you can just be working and feel like you're moving all day long. And at the end of the day, you're like, what did I do today? You know what I'm saying? And I remember like when my kids were really small, I have two kids. I have a son who is four now and a daughter who is seven. But when they were even smaller, when my, my son was first born and I was like, man, I have two kids and I'm home and I don't know what I'm doing. And my husband would come home and he would be like, how was your day? And, and, the question that I hated the most was, what did you do today? Mm. I don't know what I did today. I'm not, I changed <laughs> diapers and I fed people and I kept people alive. And I don't know how that consumed my entire day, but the laundry didn't get done. I don't have dinner cooked yet. And I have no idea why, what in the world is going on. Exactly. And, you know, and, and I'm a very like type A person. I like lists. I like to check things off. I want to know that I accomplished something. And, you know, motherhood for me, challenge that in a good way in that it caused me to have to really lean on God and not depend on oh, what I can do and what I can accomplish um, and really just trust that, you know, God is using me right now. Even if I just sat on the couch with a sick kid all day today, I did it to the glory of God and truly being satisfied in that. Um, but like you said, um, at the same time, I run an online ministry called Beloved Women, where we encourage, equip, and empower women in the love of Jesus Christ and the truth of God's word. So I do video Bible studies. We have a daily devotional, which Tatiana is a writer for. Um, we have an app and things like that. And so there's always for me this uh, tension between, you know, being present as, as a mother and being faithful to the call of ministry on my life. And, you know, sometimes I would be so, feel so confused, like, God, are you really calling me to both? Because sometimes it's just seems like it doesn't even match like how are these two things gonna fit together and God's like yeah I called you to both and I'm giving you this you know what to you feels like impossible call because I want you to lean on me for it and I think that that when it comes to balance um for me it's really just been a lesson of surrendering to God and surrendering my desires and my plans to him. Because like I was telling you, you know, I have this, uh, we have a Bible study uh, coming out soon on beloved women called Relentless Joy um, through the book of Philippians. I am so excited to release this study. Um, but it's it's been taking more time than I expected it to. Um, my daughter, you know, just January, we're trying to get the house together and things like, look at cute little mama. Um, daughter, you know, my I'm trying to get the house together in January. So I was like, okay, I'm pushing back till February. February came, my daughter got the flu. I got a severe sinus infection. And you know, it's one of those things where like, you know, your house gets sick and then the next week you're better, but you have to like regroup from like kind of being out of it. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And so <clears throat> there are some practical things I want to share with you that I have done to make sure that when it comes to my work in ministry, I'm able to stay above water. But Ultimately, it's like I have to trust God when things don't go my way. Amen. And I have to say, you know, and, and truly just say, you know, God, it's going to be a few months before I get a video out, <laughs> you know, but, you know, he's still been providing along the way. And people are still finding about beloved and coming to beloved. And, and through this process of me not really being in a post post as much this year, he's been just teaching me like. You know, it's not about the work that you do. It's about what I what I do. You know, it's about my power and my strength on you. And really, I mean, when Paul says when I'm weak, that's really when the power of Christ rests on me. Like that is when you you really experience that in motherhood. I feel like 
Yes. Yep. Especially uh, with their menstrual. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, first and foremost, it's a leaning on God and just saying, I surrender my plans, my desires to you. Because when you're running a business or you're running an organization or anything like that, you go in there, you have a plan, you implement the plan, you know, it goes hopefully the way that you want it to. But motherhood requires a lot more flexibility and surrender to God because, you know, I can't come to my one year old. You can't come to your daughter and say, OK, uh, we're going to do this, this, this today. And at 12 o'clock, I need to make sure that you are asleep. OK, and they, they don't care. My kids. They, they know about beloved women, you know what I'm saying? But they care about their snack time more than me about getting my work done. You know? It's so, right uh, she like, a beloved what? I, I don't, I don't, is, is it snack time yet? Is it dinner time? Are you going to feed me today? <laughs> um, and so, what I've done with beloved is to, one, really try to keep things simple. And that was a really hard lesson for me. That's one that I'm, I feel like really God has me in today because I feel like I have to do so much. And God is like, you really don't, you know. Mm-hmm. I've given you this one mission. Encourage my daughters in my love, okay? You don't have to do a thousand videos, a hundred podcasts, all these images and get on this show and get this book published. You don't have to do that. You can go to the grocery store and encourage the woman in the checkout line and you will be fulfilling the purpose that I've called on you. And so one, for me, it's been like stripping down what the call is for you when it comes to your ministry work and not feeling like, oh, it has to look exactly like this. You know, I have to have this type of website. I have to know that person. This person has to endorse me in order for me. No, 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 no. Mm -mm -mm. The only person that you need to fulfill the call on your life is God. And so that goes back to the leaning on God, you know, as you're working it out and trusting that even in this season of motherhood, he's going to do just that. But as I do that, you know, my main goal is to make sure that I'm flexible and present when it comes to my family, so that when it comes to beloved, I make sure things are pretty structured. You know, we have a lot of systems um, in place that, you know, I'll batch videos like we were talking about and have 12 week videos ready to go. I will pre-schedule devotionals weeks and months in advance as I have the time to do so. Um, And, you know, I use different software and tools to be able to do that. And so I do do those things to make sure that I'm consistent and things are very structured with beloved so that I can be flexible with my family because my family, I can't really structure it, you know, um, because you just never know what's going to happen. So with my family, um, you know, I just make sure that I'm pretty flexible, open. If they need me, I need to be here. I need to be present. I don't want to be distracted, you know? Um, and it's impossible without that first thing you said, surrender. Yeah. 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 You yeah. definitely have to surrender and just really trust God and say, you know, my family is my first ministry mm-hmm. and I would feel convicted, you know, if I was out here teaching the Bible to thousands of women around the world and I wasn't taking care of my household, you, you know? Say? So first and foremost, my house is in order. And this is the thing. I think that the fear is, is that if we're not working and we're not doing all this stuff, then the ministry work won't get done. And what I've noticed is I feel like I'm more productive when I am putting my family first, when I am making sure my house is in order and I'm present with my kids and I'm engaging, you know, with my husband. And I see God's faithfulness and just doing things that, you know, um, I, I, you know, Amen. I couldn't have done on my own. So even for example, you know, the Lord really placed on my heart at the beginning of this year, like Christina, you know, really kind of purge the house and kind of get things together, you know, and just get the house in order. And so I was doing that, but I was feeling kind of frustrated because I had just started selling the Life Bible journals. And I was thinking, this is what I told myself. I was like, I got to put videos out so I can promote the journals or else they won't sell. And I have all my money in this inventory. You know what I'm saying? And I was so stressed because I told myself I have to put videos out. I put one video out this entire year so far and I've surpassed my goal, my sales goals each wow. month. And God has just been like showing me it's not about what you do. It's about your relationship with me. It's about your trust with me. And if I tell you to focus on one thing over here, trust that I got everything else over here because mm-hmm. we can only focus on one thing at a time. But God, he has the whole picture. He knows everything that's going on. And he and 
And it was, I mean, just even this year has been a lesson for me. Like, okay, when God tells me to go over here, I'm going to just go and I'm going to trust him with everything else over here. You know, so good. You know that reminds me of that verse in the Bible that says the gain of the godly comes without, you know, stress. It comes without, Ooh, that's uh, good. you know, uh, you know, I forgot toil. the exact word, toil. Yeah, it's like, it's yeah. when you do things, you know, you have your priorities straight. God will give you that gain. It won't come at the cost of something. Like if we don't put the Lord first and we try to go after all these ambitious goals that we have, then any gain that we do see is going to be with, like she said, toil, with stress, with uh, sacrifice or with some area of our lives not being, um, you know, treated or, or kept the way it should be. And so it's so mm -hmm. important. Like, I really believe, like you said, the first thing, the key is surrender. There are some days where I have goals to work, I have goals to write. <laughs> but if this one starts mm -hmm. cutting up or she just she just can't be put down, then I say, you know what? Today is a Netflix day because yeah. the as, as much as if I get if if she continues to, like, you know, need me. And I'm continuing to be distracted. That's not going to do anything but make me frustrated because I'm not trying to meet, I'm not meeting my goal. And mm -hmm. so instead of making that my goal for the day, I just have to say, you know what? This is my minute. She is my ministry. Uh, my first, you know, my first ministry is here at home. So today mm -hmm. is ministry day and ministry days look like yep. Netflix and holding and cuddles, you know, Netflix yep. and cuddles. <laughs> So it just has to be a Netflix and cuddles kind of day, you know, some days. And you have to trust that God will give you that time, give you the, the, the opportunity to get what you need to get done, done. And it's just like another thing. I think me and you were talking about this as well with the Sabbath and overworking and stuff like that. Um, of course, you have to work hard if you want to make your goal um, come true. Realize, you know. Because, you know, if you have ambitious goals for your ministry or for your business, then it's going to require hard work. But um, that doesn't mean that our families have to come second or mm -hmm. that we have to overwork ourselves into a, a spiritual place where we're not even really connecting or communing or depending on God. We're just kind of trying to do our own thing. <laughs> but um, yeah, you have to trust that the Lord, if he's called you to do this, he will give you the time you need, the energy uh -huh. you need to get it done. Yes, he will. And you know, it's, it, you know, we can't really put God in a box, you know, and say what we think ministry and motherhood is going to look like in, in both, because I think that we enter motherhood and we have these ideas of what our home is going to look like and what our kids are going to be, you know, and, and when it doesn't turn out to be what we think, we can find ourselves being frustrated, you know, but God has us where he has us for a reason, you know, um, in that season. And we have to just trust him with that and not try to confine him to our thoughts and our ideas of how we think life should be. The Bible says that God's ways and his thoughts are higher than ours. And that's why we can trust him. He has a better vantage point of our life in the full picture of where he's taking us other, you know, more than just today, me trying to get these 12 blog posts done or whatever that I'm trying to do, or I'm trying to vacuum today. Maybe you don't get a chance to do it. I wake up every day and I pray to the Holy Spirit. I say, Holy Spirit, Please give me power and wisdom today to do, be, think and speak as I'm called to do. And then I pray and then give me power and wisdom to trust you with what I'm not supposed to do today, what I'm not supposed to be today, what I'm not supposed to say or think today. Mm -hmm. And it really. And so at the end of the day, when I look out and I'm like, oh, I, I did get everything checked off or I didn't get everything checked off. I say, you know what? I started with that prayer and I trust that the Holy Spirit was leading me. And whatever I didn't get done today, it was because God just really didn't. It just wasn't in the plan. And I trust him. Mm -hmm. you know? And that really has given me just a peace, you know, to know that he has everything else under control, you know. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's just the timing of things, too. It's like. You know, um, just like you said, we have to trust God with how much we uh, get done. But also, like in the in the scope of your project or wherever wherever it is that you're working on, sometimes the timing is just better when you just you know relax mm -hmm. and uh, just let God 
God direct it, let God handle it. Um, and then that way too, you just don't miss out on what's important because she's not always going to be this small. I was going to tell you that when you were talking about cuddles, I was like, oh my gosh, I miss cuddle days. <laughs> you know, I, those are very few and far between for me right now. So girl, enjoy it. <laughs> yes, the hiccups now. <laughs> you know, and I mean, that's one thing that I think is that, you know, when it comes to ministry and just work, you know, that those things will always be waiting for you, you know, but your kids are only going to be a baby one time. They're only going to be two one time. They're only going to be four one time. This is your shot. This is your one shot to be present in this season of their lives because you can't get it back. Ministry work, work. You can, you can do that anytime, you know? Amen. Amen. Yeah. You, you don't, I, I don't want to be, um, so ambitious and so focused, goal driven on on what I want to do. That I you look up and this girl's already like thirteen or something. I, I can't can't, re, can't go back like you said. Can't go back. Yeah. And this is really it. Really is a joy. And God does teach us so much and and help us really to be better um, ministers to others through yeah. the ministry of motherhood. And so we got to remember that. Um, because sometimes we can we can get ahead of ourselves and we can get ahead with our goals. But um, did you have anything else you want to say to our listeners today? Um, just talking about getting ahead, I just want to say the importance of just pacing yourself and not feeling like you have to rush and you know believe in the lie like oh if I don't get it done right now it's just not going to happen. That that's that's just not true. You know, if your body's telling you you're tired, don't push through and try to clean the whole house. Let Just sit down for a little bit and get some rest. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If you're trying to write something and you're struggling, and it's not coming, take a break. Come, you know, sleep on it. Wake up the next morning. See if it, you know what I'm saying? Don't try to bulldoze your way through life. You mm-hmm. know, if you're talking about motherhood and ministry work, this is lifelong work. This is not a sprint. It's a marathon. So it's OK to take moments of rest. It's OK to be at peace in this season that you're in, um, because this isn't it. You'll be doing this for the rest of your life. Uh, so go ahead and just have that that mindset of this is a life motherhood ministry. It's a lifelong thing. You know, you have plenty of time um, to do what it is that God will call you to do and what he started in you. He will finish. Amen. This is beautiful. Y'all, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, question of the day, please leave your tips or your insight about how to balance mo- motherhood and ministry in the comments below. And thank you for joining us today. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and push like and subscribe. Gabby is like, got these hiccups. <laughs> I'm like, I'm at loss for words. <laughs> Push the like and subscribe button if you like this content. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you next time on Life Before Eternity channel. Until then, sis, keep the faith.